it's Megan. So I am finally here to do my year-end beauty product inventory. So this is all my body care and skin care that I currently have right at this present moment at the end of 2016. It is December 29th when I am filming this. So every single thing that I own in these categories is being shown in this video. And that's kind of a scary thing, but it's also a really good thing to keep me on track and remind me of the things that I need to work on using up within the next year. So I have not done one of these inventories in exactly six months. The last time I did one was June 29th. So that kind of just worked out. That's It's exactly six months later that I am doing this one. So I am going to do just like I've done in the past with my inventory videos. I give you a little chat at the beginning I go over every single category with every single product that I have in that category and I tell you the number of items that I have both full size and deluxe and then how many less or more that I have since the last inventory. So I haven't even looked at my numbers from six months ago but as I do each little segment when I show you the products I will give you the like results, I guess you could say, of if I have more, less, or the same as I did six months ago. And I just want to preface this by saying I don't really care about the numbers as much as I used to. I used to be really caught up on the numbers and now I just try to have products that I love and even if I have more than I would like to say that I have, I have products that I love. And I'm not at that point yet with my skincare. I still have things that I need to use up and things that I have purchased in the past or received in the past that aren't my absolute favorite but do the job and I want to get my money's worth or the value of the product out of it if it was a gift or just a sweet gesture from someone and I want to be at the point where I love every single thing that I own in my skincare because skincare is my favorite part of beauty. I am so in love with skincare and think that it's just such an interesting like sciencey type of part of beauty and I have grown to really enjoy the process of doing my skincare, of researching new skincare, and it's just a really fun part to me of my whole beauty ritual and collection and stuff. So I will show you guys all of my stuff now, but I, I just want to keep in mind that it's not about the numbers, it's about loving the products that you have and the products that you use and just to have things that work for my skin and I might have more things than I did six months ago in certain categories but I know that I haven't gone hog wild buying stuff this year and that makes me feel really good even if I have more things now than I did six months ago. I am proud of how far I've come because certain things that I buy are like sets of stuff that I know that I love and I know that I use. For example, my Josie Marin um, body lotion. I got a set of like six or seven of those so it seems like I have so much body lotion now but I have so much less than I ever did and I have the things that I really really love. So that's just an example of that but after I do all of the little clips I will do an overview of my thoughts on how I've been doing and that's always good for me to see like before I do my inventory I do this and then, then at the end I talk to you guys about it and I don't know it's just nice to hear the before and after of my thoughts and I, I'm hopeful for 2017 to have way less stuff than I ever did before and I know the only way to get there is to use up the things that I have and buy way less than I have in the past and I really have tried to drive that home this year in 2016 and I've done such a great job at not really shopping too much and when I did I would buy things that I've wanted for a while or that were more more or less necessities in what I needed at the moment and of course I mess up sometimes and I buy things that I don't need but you know it happens so we're just gonna get into it I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you at the end of the video 
I have six hand creams, which is one less than I had six months ago. I have the Philosophy Peppermint Stick, the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, the Skin Fix Hand Repair Cream, the Seba Med Hand and Nail Balm, Aquaphor, and the Gold Bond Eczema Relief. I have seven full-size body lotions, which is one more than I had six months ago, and I have ten deluxe sizes, which is five more than I had six months ago. So I have the Bio Oil and the Clarins Tonic Body Oils, the Caldrea Fig Leaf Body Oil, the Deep Steep Argan Dry Body Oil, the Vaseline Intensive Care Body Butter, I have the Josie Marin Body Whip Bar Ar Bargain Whipped Argan Body Butters. I have a full size of the Apple Spice, and then I have, let's see, seven deluxe sizes, and most of those are from the Christmas set that I bought. I have three of the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butters and the Olay Quench Shimmer Body Lotion. I have three body washes and two of the Dial Yogurts. I have three less body washes than I did six months ago, and I have one less of the Dial Yogurt than I had six months ago, and I am so excited to be down to our final two Dial Yogurt body washes because if you've been watching me for a long time, you know that we had like a cabinet full of them, so I'm really, really proud of this. For body scrubs, I only have two. I have the Bath & Body Works Honey Body Scrub and the Soft Soap, Soft Soap Body Butter Coconut Scrub, and that is two less than I had six months ago. I have six full-size cleansers, which is three more than I had six months ago, and I have four deluxe sizes, which is four more than I had six months ago. So I have the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cleanser, the Elemis Tri Enzyme Resurfacing Wash, the Polish Choice Resist Hydrating Cleanser, the Avalon Organics Vitamin C Cleansing Milk, the Derma E Glycolic Cleanser with Papaya, the Andalou Naturals Apricot Probiotic Cleansing Milk, and then the deluxe sizes in the front are the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Cleansing Gel, the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, the Amrovixa Thermal Cleansing Balm, and the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. I have two eye makeup removers, which is the same as six months ago. I have a deluxe size of the Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover and the CVS Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. For chemical exfoliation pads, I have four, which is one less than I did six months ago. I have the Skin Iceland Nordic Skin Peel, two of the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads, and the Polish Choice Skin Perfecting BHA Liquid, which I use with a cotton pad. For toners, I have two, which is one more than I had six months ago. I have the Polish Choice Resist Replenishing Toner, which is an amazing hydrating toner, and the Fresh Umbrian Clay Mattify or Purifying Facial Toner. For facial spritzes, I have three. The other Queen of Hungary mist is in my purse. So I have two of the Amaravixa Queen of Hungary mist and the Tarte Marine Boosting mist, and that is two more than I had six months ago. For day serums, I have two. I have the deluxe size of the Drunk Elephant C for my day serum and the My Shell Perfect C serum. I didn't use to separate my serums by day and night for my inventory, so I'm not sure how many more or less I have from six months ago. For night serums, I have five. I have a deluxe size of the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum, the Leilani Siren Serum, the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, the Michelle Remarkable Retinol Serum, and the Arcana Gentle Solution. For facial oils, I have three deluxe sizes, the Tarte Maracuja Oil, the Cebu Sea Buckthorn Seed Oil, and the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil, and that is one more than I had six months ago. 
for eye cream, I have two, which is two less than I had six months ago. I have the Sebamed Lifting Eye Cream and the Radical Eye Revive Cream. For oil cleansers and makeup removing products, I have four full size and two deluxe size. I have two less full size than I did six months ago and one more deluxe size than I had. I have a full and a deluxe size of the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, the Pons Cold Cream, the Bashia Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil, the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Oil, and the Una Brennan Vitamin C Cleansing Oil. For physical exfoliants, I have five, and they're all deluxe sizes. I have the Kate Somerville Exfolicate, the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub, a small size of the Leilani Coco Lika Mask, the Ole Henriksen, it's a sugar glow polishing mask, but I use both of those masks as just exfoliants, and the Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel. And I have one more than I did six months ago. For night cream, I have five. I have three full sizes and two deluxe sizes, which is one more than I had six months ago. I have the Derma E Hydrating Night Cream, the Colleen Rothschild Extreme Recovery Cream, the um, Amarovixa Rejuvenating Night Cream, the Clinique Moisture Surge Night Cream, and the Polish Choice Resist Barrier Repair Moisturizer. For day creams, I have four full size and three deluxe size, which is only one more deluxe size than I had six months ago. I have the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion, the Ombre Elise Hydromat, the Leilani Aloha Ambrosia Elixir, the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Day Moisturizer, the Amro Vixa Illuminating Moisturizer, the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel, and the Pharmacy Rise and Shine Daily Moisture Lock. For masks, I have seven full size and one deluxe size, which is one more full size than I had six months ago. I have the Bragg's Apple Cider Vinegar and Aztec Clay, which I have as one mask. Then I have the Andalou Naturals Fruit Enzyme Mask, the Leilani Mermaid Mask, the Sicily Rose Mask, the Elf Hydrating Bubble Mask, the um, Sunday Best by Farmhouse Fresh Mask, the Colleen Ross Trial Intense Hydrating Mask, and Glam Glow Thirsty Mud. Alright, so here is all my stuff. All in one big pile. I think that this is such an effective way to see how much you actually have. So this is everything that I showed you guys in my inventory and I did go up in a few categories, quite a few categories actually, but I did go down in some really exciting categories. I have a lot more stuff left to use up and I don't need to be purchasing any more stuff anytime soon, but I have done really, really good in 2016 with not bringing in as much as I used to in the past and I know that I will do even better in 2017. So this pile will get a lot, lot smaller over the next year and I know that it has reduced so much within the past year and I'm really, really happy about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, seeing all of the products that I have in my skincare and body care inventories and I hope you guys have an amazing start to 2017. I'll see you really soon. Bye!